From the moment you open your eyes and look at the night sky, it feels like the universe was created for you. Billions of stars shimmer above, Earth gives you air to breathe, food to eat, and a body that works with incredible precision. It's easy to believe this cosmic stage was designed with humans at the center, but step back for just a moment and reality becomes far harsher. The truth is that almost every corner of the universe is lethal. Step outside Earth's thin blanket of atmosphere and you'll face freezing darkness, deadly radiation, and a vacuum that tears life apart in seconds. Beyond our planet, stars burn with unimaginable heat, galaxies collide with destructive force, and black holes devour everything in their path. If you think the cosmos is welcoming, you are wrong. The universe is more of a hostile desert, with Earth as a rare oasis where life accidentally managed to bloom. Even our so-called safe home, Earth, is not truly secure. Our planet orbits a star that will one day expand and swallow it whole. We are constantly bombarded by cosmic radiation, protected only by a fragile magnetic field. Asteroids, lurking silently in space, have wiped out entire species before us and could do it again without warning. And beneath our feet, Earth itself is restless. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and shifting plates remind us that our world is not a permanent sanctuary, but a temporary shelter. The universe does not bend to our needs. Rather, we are clinging to existence in an environment that is mostly indifferent to whether we live or die. Our survival is not guaranteed by the cosmos. It is fought for in every second of history, against odds far larger than we imagine. The more science uncovers, the clearer it becomes that life is the exception, not the rule. Out of trillions of planets, only a tiny fraction may even have the conditions to support biology, and yet we found ourselves on one of them by sheer cosmic luck. If the laws of physics were even slightly different, if gravity pulled a bit weaker, if atoms bonded a bit less, if stars burned out too quickly, life as we know it would never have existed. This fragile balance makes our existence feel both miraculous and meaningless at the same time. The universe didn't design itself for us. We simply emerged in one of the few rare places where survival was possible. We are not the chosen children of the cosmos. We are a statistical accident in an otherwise lifeless expanse. But let me be clear, what I am saying here is not meant to reject faith nor to argue against the truths held in religious texts. My purpose is not to decide what is right or wrong, nor to claim ultimate answers about existence. Instead, my role is simply to invite you to look at the universe from a different perspective, one that highlights its vast indifference and our fragile place within it. Whether you interpret this through the lens of science, spirituality, or both is entirely your choice. I am not here to impose a belief, but to spark thought, to push you to question, to wonder, and to expand the way you see reality. At the end of the day, the responsibility to decide what is right and what is wrong rests with you, not with me or anyone else.